So now that we're done with the coding portion of the project, we want to assign our specific assignments, which is the mapping of the pins to our keywords. So we could do that by going over to the top menu and clicking on Assignments and going down to Assignment Editor. And over here, here is the interaction window for our pin assigning. So we'll first go assign our key value. And next is assignment name. We, want, we just want to specify a location. And for your information, all of these pin assignment locations can be found in our user manual. So we're going to go over to location. And our value for this one is pin M23. And next we have our LEDR 0. And for this one, our location will be pin G19. And we also want to specify the driving voltage for our LED R0. So LED R0. And this can also be found in our DE2115 user manual. And this one is our I.O. standard. So we'll go down. And this one should be 2.5 volts. Same with our LED R1. Location. This one will be pin F19, our LED R01, uh, IO standard, so it should be 2.5 volts, LED R2, location, uh, this one will be pin E19. And the LED R2 IO standard driving voltage will be 2.5 volts. And last, LED R3. Okay, so, and this one will be pin F21, LED R3. Oops. R3 uh, and our uh, standard, and this one will be 2.5 volts as well. And now for our last pin assignment, will be our clock 50, and the location for this one will be pin Y2. IO standard for this one will be 3.5, 3.3 actually, 3.3 volts LVTTL. Now you can find all of these values in our user manual for the D2115. So after all of these pin assignments are complete, we can go to the top and click on save. And since our assignments are complete and our code is complete, we can start compiling. We do this by going to the top and to this arrow key, which uh, this purple arrow key, and you can see that it says start compilation. So we'll click on start. Now during the process of, of this recording, we found out that the Cordis 9.1 Service Pack 2 um, declared the supply voltage as 1.0 when it really should have been 1.2. So we can change that by going over to Open. And we want to edit our QSF file. So Files of Type, we have to click All Files and open our QSF file over here. So we open that. And we can scroll down to see that our nominal core supply voltage 
is 1.0 when it should be 1.2. So let's change that to 1.2 and we'll save and we will go back to continue compiling. So over here, you can see that our status, you can see the process of our compilation. And down here on our console window, we can see all of the information that are going on, including our processing, extra info, warnings, critical warnings, and suppressed. So our full compilation was successful. Uh, with a lot of warnings, but we can ignore that for now. We'll click on OK. So now that our compilation is complete, which included analysis and sy synthesis, the fitter, the assembler, and the timing analyzer, we can program our board. So we program our board by going up to our programming icon, which is here. You'll see that it says Programmer. Click on it. And here we have our programming interface. Now, if it's blank over here, or it has something else that's not USB Blaster, then all we have to do is to cl click on Hardware Setup, and make sure that we, we have our USB Blaster over here, and we select USB Blaster in our currently selected hardware. We close that. And we just have to have one checkbox, which is our program slash configure, and we click on Start. Now during the process of this, make sure that your run and program switch is set to one. I mean, set to run on your um, PE2115 programming board. And if all goes to plan, your board should be counting up on your LED Rs right now, as you can see. So now I hope you have learned the basics of Cordis 2 Software IDE, as well as designing with the DE2-115 Development and Education Board. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to support at thoracic.com.tw. Thank you for watching.